welcome to TSB Means Business, a program brought to you by the Savings Bank. My name is Allie Houghton, and today uh, joining me is Pete Johnson, Senior VP and Senior Commercial Banking Officer, Nick Kafalis, VP Commercial Banking, Catherine McDonald, Director of the BB Library, and John Smolinski, Director of the Wakefield Linfield Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for joining us. Thank My you. Pleasure. Good to be here. Today we're talking about a great fundraiser that's held in Wakefield every year, the Blossoms at the BB. Catherine and John, could you tell us a little bit about what Blossoms is? You want to start? Be my guest. Okay. Um, Blossoms is a fundraiser. It's a joint fundraiser for the Linfield, uh, Wakefield Linfield Chamber and the library. It's a party for um, anybody who cares to attend, and you get to party in the evening with drinks and music and hors d'oeuvres in the beautiful library building. Um, we've done it since 2007, and the partnership has been going on for that long. Every year it's a little bit different. Um, and what would you add, John? It's a tremendous social event within mm -hmm. the town of Wakefield. Mm -hmm. Over 400 residents, friends, and neighbors come down to the library on this particular evening uh, to enjoy the atmosphere of the library and the event itself. And there's a lot of interesting things that go on. There are raffles, there are auctions. You get to meet a lot of interesting new people. There's entertainment. Uh, it goes on from 7 to 11 o'clock. And it's amazing how many people will come to the library to support the cause, which is um, the majority of the money does go to the library and it's used to maintain and upkeep the library in ways that uh, might not have been done if this money wasn't available. But from the social aspect and the entertainment aspect, it's really a very enjoyable evening and it highlights the year for the library and the chamber mm -hmm. as our annual fundraiser, joint fundraiser. Every year there's a theme. What's this year's theme? This year I actually brought a, a, pro, a brochure for you. It's a masquerade gala and it's called An Atmosphere of Illusion. And there were a few. Illusion. You have to say it, illusion. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not a magician, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could now I'd make it disappear. But be that as it may, um, it is an interesting evening. There will be masks, and there will be people masquerading around. We encourage people to come in costume to uh, add to the evening. The, the effects of adding people in costume and, and the mystique behind the mask that they might wear makes it that much more fun. Mm -hmm. And so this year, there will be a couple of different opportunities as part of the fundraising to also enjoy the evening. Uh, we are selling keys for, I believe, $20 a key, and everyone will randomly pick a key, and at a certain point in the evening, everyone gets to try that key, and if your key unlocks the treasure chest, you'll win yourself a trip to New Orleans. Uh, there's another raffle going on this, this evening, um, $20 for a chance to win 1000 and they're only selling, we're only selling a limited number of tickets, tickets, so your odds of winning are very, very good. So for a $20 raffle ticket, you could walk out with $1,000. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you how that event takes place because that's part of the illusion and the mystique of the evening, but it will be a very, very fun and entertaining way to possibly walk out with $1,000 cash in your pocket. Uh, we will keep that between ourselves and not the IRS at this point. <laughs> but we were, it's tax time, so we'll keep that between ourselves. So, there it is, the Entertainment Revolution. And how is the theme picked every year? Uh, that's interesting. Uh, it's a committee. Mm -hmm. There is a committee of, of various representations within the, within the community itself, and there's a discussion about, last year it was a, a 60s theme, a hippies theme. Mm -hmm. uh, so every year we try to pick something different to it's keep it the same event, but to change up the atmosphere so it's still an interesting and fun evening for people to come in and participate. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's done randomly. Everybody in the committee will throw out a particular idea and one hits, you know, and then everyone agrees that's the way to go. Uh, there will be some adult beverages served that evening, so that also helps make the, uh, the, the evening move along pretty quickly for everybody. It, um, how did Blossoms originally get started? It, well, God, it was you. before you, wasn't it, Yes, John? yes, it was. Um, in 2007, we were doing a, a sort of a um, books and blooms kind of event, and that was the economic downturn. Mm -hmm. And the library was hit, the town and the library were hit very hard, and we had trouble meeting our state requirements. Libraries have state requirements. Um, so for, for the first five years of the event, um, it funded materials, it funded books, uh, and then times got good again, and people really enjoyed this event, 
And we found that we always have other needs that are not met. So now we're able to um, use this funding for uh, new initiatives and for um, building projects that the, the building is always in need of something. And to give an example of an initiative, um, w we decided that we wanted to do jazz on the plaza. Mm -hmm. And it does seem like it's a pretty easy thing to do. And you might notice that there aren't too many libraries that do it. So we hooked up with Berkeley College of Music, and that was great. And it's a great um, collaboration. But we needed the funds to have um, sound equipment. And that's not in a budget. That's not in a library budget. So that allowed us to do Plaza Jazz, which in turn brings people to Main Street, um, mm -hmm. livens up the street all summer. Mm -hmm. Helps uh, the merchants. Helps the merchants. Uh, there are many uh, that are right before the movie that uh, uh, CAT does mm -hmm. on the lake. So mm -hmm. it really adds to, uh, you know, and we would not have been able to do that without this extra money. Catherine, could you share a little bit about the history of the library and who Lucius Beebe was? I could. We were talking about this earlier. Um, it's on the website, and a lot of people are interested in um, the history of the library, so much so that uh, we plan by the end of the year to be, start doing something called Library 101, where you can come in and have a building tour, uh, maybe have a tour of the website, um, all kinds of things like that. But briefly, he, um, the library is named after Lucius Beebe, who is not as well known as the son that everyone thinks of, who was Lucius Morris Beebe. Uh, it was the Beebe family who donated in honor of their parents. Mm -hmm. um, the mother's name was Celinda. Mm -hmm. And um, a very fine architect of the time designed the building. It was a, it was a very expensive endeavor at the time that it was done, 1922. Um, so we will be introducing, if you want more information, Wikipedia has everything on mm -hmm. the BBs, and especially Lucius Morris BB is a very interesting guy, a man about town. Yeah. Um, we, there are pictures of him in the library. I think you described him as a bon vivant. Yes. I love that word. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was great. Kind of fun. Other than the um, Jazz on the Plaza, what are some other ways that the library uses the funding? Almost all the new furniture that you see now, um, the library was renovated in uh, 1999. You've got anywhere between 800 and 1,000 people a day coming through, sitting on that furniture, putting their feet up, all kinds of stuff. So the, the finishes are starting to wear, and um, the quality of the furnishings that are there are part of what makes that library so special. It's not the biggest or the shiniest mm -hmm. in the state. It's, it's, um, you see the new facilities are enormous. And what we lack in space, uh, we kind of make up for in comfort and warmth. Mm -hmm. And we have an interior designer, local Cheryl Webb Scott, mm -hmm. who's worked on this building for years. <coughs> um, and that costs money to do that well. And so we're able to keep that to the standard. Mm -hmm. um, we were just looking at some new furnishing, furnishings today. And the new furniture helps us do new things with the building. So we find we need more. More people are working from home. More people are looking for space to work in, outside their home or um, to have a conference table. I know the Savings Bank has that conference room. We're always telling people, we don't have space, but you can call the mm -hmm. Savings Bank. They have space. Uh, so we're, we're getting more tables tables and chairs to add a little more space. And that will be Blossom's money. If you haven't been to the library, you need to go because it's it's a special, special place. Mm -hmm. I've been in a lot of libraries in my life and and you're right, it's it's a very comforting, warm uh, place. Uh, I, I'm impressed with, with what you all have been able to do with it. It's very beautiful. Yeah, it and so it's the perfect place for a party. Mm -hmm. You know, the marble foyer and um, this new this year we put in dimmer switches. So the, the lighting will be really nice in that foyer, yeah. John, as somebody that's been to Blossoms in the past, do you have a favorite part of Blossom? I, I just, to me, it's the excitement. There's an electricity that seems to go through the room. Mm -hmm. There's so much for everybody. There's uh, app, you know nice uh, gourmet appetizers and hors d'oeuvres. There's music on both floors of the library. 
They decorate it beautifully. There's flower arrangements throughout, upstairs and down. And everyone just comes with such an ex uh, anticipation of excitement mm -hmm. that for me, I, I mean, last year was a lot of fun. Uh, becoming for a number of years, and it's just it's it's a magical way that people just seem to come together on a, for a single purpose, which is as you've heard from Catherine, a uh, beautiful way to support and sustain a library with such a great history and such a great utility purpose for the community. It brings people together. Uh, libraries are the foundation of so much of American past and education for mm -hmm. purposes. That's nice with everything that goes on online today mm -hmm. and all that takes place uh, through. Facebook or Twitter or whatever, that a place like the library can still find its spot and serve a community as wonderful as this library does. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's just, you get 400 plus people coming into mm -hmm. the library for a single purpose, single-minded of purpose, and it works out very well. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pete and Nick, as, as two people that this is your, gonna be your first year at Blossoms, uh, what are you most looking forward to? Or have you have you heard anything about it yet? Well, I have. I've been hearing about it pretty much weekly uh, because I was asked to join the committee this year, and and that's been a lot of fun. It's been it's been good to kind of all row in the same direction and and set a tone and and figure out how we're going to do it this year to make it different from last year, but yet take the elements that have really worked well and continue to move them forward. Uh, I think there's some exciting things that are going to happen, which John alluded to, but didn't go into as much detail as you probably could have, and that's very appropriate, I think. But um, I, I think the best part is what's been described to me as the total transformation of what's already beautiful space into a party atmosphere. I'm, I'm so excited to see the difference between the library I just walked into the other night uh, for a meeting to a place where uh, there's a soiree going on and uh, uh, which I think, I don't think we party and uh, you know, celebrate our, our common successes enough with each mm -hmm. other. And uh, the other thing I'm looking forward to is seeing people in the business community and residents come together for that mm -hmm. common purpose that um, John was talking about. And some of those people are our customers mm -hmm. and to see them in a different bit of a, an atmosphere than we're used to mm -hmm. is good. Uh, this is how customers become friends mm -hmm. and colleagues and peers and people who uh, you know, want to accomplish things together. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing some old friends, meeting new friends, like as Peter alluded to, uh, seeing customers that you see from time to time in the bank, but now you're seeing them in a social setting. And as John alluded to, I think the excitement, I'm excited about it. I know my wife is, she's been complaining we don't go out enough. So this is an opportunity to take her out and show her a good time on, on the town of Wakefield. So I'm excited about it, I'm looking yeah, forward to it's it. It's a good time, it's a really good time. And Pete, you said you were on the committee this year. What do you feel like are have been some of the challenges for the committee planning such a big event? Well, I, it's one of the challenges I think there, that's always there for any committee, for any event that takes place year after year, mm -hmm. is how do you keep it fresh? How do you take the best things and move them forward? And, you know, I, I think every initiative like this has a life cycle. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a few uh, organizations that have just kind of milked something until it wasn't worth milking anymore. I believe, from what I've seen and from just the passion of the committee, that Blossoms is something that continues to be a good thing that's well received by the community that achieves its purpose of, of bringing in funds both for the library and for the chamber uh, and is, is also a really uh, feel-good event. Mm -hmm. So we've tried as a committee uh, to make it just that, to take the best elements, mm -hmm. to kind of get rid of some things that didn't work well and to kind of introduce some new things uh, as well. Uh, it's It's been very collaborative and, and a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, yeah. One of the um, biggest... Um, parts of Blossoms is the silent auction. Could you maybe give people a little sneak peek of what they could expect this year? You're asking me? <laughs> well, there's a, there's a <laughs> wide variety of items. Catherine, do you want us? Yes, I actually oh. got an email from um, the... So at, when we work on these committees, uh, the, the whole committee is broken up into subcommittees, mm -hmm. and the auction subcommittee is headed by Amy Lomanak, who's um, also a library trustee. Mm -hmm. So I emailed her and said, you know, do you want to give me a little taste? And so she sent me some things. And I think in general, we can say that there are um, items and experiences and services that um, are, are by from local officials and Wakefield businesses, uh, health and wellness and um, beauty services. And there are also things from local officials mm -hmm. 
and town departments, which I was really surprised to see that will be really interesting. And she said that uh, she said she would say that there is everything from Red Sox tickets to lottery tickets to wheelbarrows and sunglasses. There's something for everyone. Mm. And there are quite a few experiences, and those are always, sometimes people don't want a thing, they want an experience. Mm. And if your experience is going to also benefit the community, um, it's a win for everyone. So um, we're very grateful to the people who donate and the volunteers who put the time in to get those donations. And it's a lot of fun for people who like to. And you have to come to the event to bid, which is mm -hmm. a lot of fun, too. And it's it's very price effective. It's, mm. it's only $40 a person for a tremendous evening. Mm -hmm. Live entertainment, food, uh, sociability to meet other people, particip participate in a worthy cause. So $40 gets you through the door. And tickets are selling quickly. As I said, we almost basically sell pretty much every year. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would encourage anybody that would like to assist uh, to go to www.blossomsatthebb.com. Mm -hmm. no, no spaces blossoms at bb.com and they can it's a website get as much information as they want and if they needed to contact us at the chamber they can certainly contact me directly at the chamber john at wakefieldlinfieldchamber.org and be happy to answer any questions someone might have and encourage them maybe to make a donation and be a sponsor as well as buy some tickets and maybe sell them a key and sell them a raffle to win a thousand dollars. And if I can John please takes his committee assignment very yeah. seriously. Yeah. 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 At least yeah. for a few more dollars, I'll do that. Yeah. Well, what if, if somebody was interested in helping out that night or volunteering? Are you, are you still looking for volunteers? And how could they go about doing that? Um, every, that every, website. You, yeah, the yeah. website is a good place to start. Uh, there's always a need for volunteers, as Peter and Catherine know, that on the committee, it, it takes a lot of people to make this work. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that are behind the scenes that never get their just due. But mm -hmm. I, again, would suggest they go to the website or contact us and we'll put them in and find out what their particular interest might be, what mm -hmm. they would like to fit in and see if we can find a spot for them. Mm -hmm. So this is a great partnership between the chamber and the library. And while you're here, is there anything else coming up either you know jointly or separately that you would like to, uh, to mention while you're here? Uh, there's nothing I, I can think of other than uh, support Karen Catherine's comment about the the uh, plaza mm -hmm. and the music over the summer. That's a, that's a wonderful thing that libraries don't have to offer, and it does bring people downtown. So obviously the chamber is very supportive of having Main Street become a focus of people coming into our community. It's a beautiful common. There's a lot of wonderful merchants on Main Street. The library is situated perfectly for that cause. So I would just encourage people to keep an eye on what's going on at the library right now. Yeah. And the, it's very um, helpful for us um, in that we look to serve the business community. So this year when I was presenting the budget, a selectman Donaco mentioned that, he, that there are new businesses coming into town and they don't really know what to do and mm -hmm. could we do something to maybe help those businesses. And as he was talking, I'm thinking about who are my connections who can give me the information I'm going to need to answer these questions, because that's what we do. Librarians don't know everything, but they know where to find it. Mm -hmm. And you know, our, our relationship with the chamber opens up a whole world of information to us, mm -hmm. and um, it gives us a way to find out community needs mm -hmm. through the chamber. So uh, that's really helpful. Yeah, it's it's a good collaboration, and it certainly does benefit. And one of the things I'm I'm most appreciative of is that the crowd for that size that's there mm -hmm. is very respectful mm -hmm. of the library. Mm -hmm. We're not finding damaged furniture, stains, problems. Everyone's well behaved. So when you mm -hmm. put that many people together for a common cause and they can come into a place like the BB Library mm -hmm. and enjoy themselves but be respectful of the atmosphere and the environment as well, it's, it's very unusual but very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like you said, for $40 a ticket, it's a great night out. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you don't have to travel far in right. a lot of instances, mm -hmm. you know, you're, mm -hmm. you're local. You might have a little trouble parking, but we, yeah. it's fine. It's, there's all those side streets. Everybody forgets about the side streets, mm -hmm. um, but all along the mm -hmm. side streets, is, and there are no time limits at night. So um, There's a nice parking lot right behind Town Hall, which is mm -hmm. just steps away from the library, yeah. Yeah. which is open to the public and the community as well. Yeah. yeah. Literally, mm -hmm. just That's a two-minute walk That's true. from Town Hall, and there's... Uh, nice safe parking off the street mm -hmm. you know so i think it's a it's a way to encourage people to know that there is access available to them if they'd like to come down and enjoy themselves mm -hmm. pete do you have any final thoughts on on blossoms you know 
I'm glad that we did this program mm -hmm. because I think it shines a light on a really worthy cause that we've all been talking about. Um, I love that it benefits the, the library, yeah. but I also love that it benefits the chamber. I think you know when those two things come together so cohesively, uh, that's powerful, and it just shows that you know we when we put things together, uh, they become more powerful uh, than if we kind of keep them all separate. So um, we're excited to be a part of it too yeah. as a sponsor and. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll be attending uh, in force. Uh, my wife also is excited about it. Um, I told Nick that he and his wife might need to entertain me and my wife if I get, uh, you know, uh, pulled into bringing cases of, of wine and beer <laughs> up and down stairs and things like that. And, and uh, they're up for that cause, I think. So, uh, no, I, I'm really looking forward to my first uh, Blossoms. Yeah. yeah. First of many, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. So I would yeah. encourage everybody to, to go get their tickets for that event. Yeah. It's a great yeah. time. The sooner the better. Yes. 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 You don't want to be left out. It is the social event for the library and the chamber for the year. Yeah. It is, it is the biggest. Mm -hmm. You said when it is, right? No. Oh, oh Saturday, <laughs> April 27th. In the evening from 7 to 11 at the library. Uh, be sure to get your tickets and be there on that Saturday because otherwise you'll have to wait till next year to join in on the fun. And if in the meantime you want to see, we have a Facebook page that I found as I was, I was kind of going through and it had some great pictures from former events. So you can kind of get a sense as to how things go mm -hmm. uh, and the good time that people are having by uh, looking at those photos. And if you come, maybe you'll be in one of those photos this year. So Very possible. There will be a photo booth. As part of the attraction mm -hmm. this year as well, so you can be, mm -hmm. be sure that your picture is there by participating, and it's free. It's part of the price of admission. You want to get your photo taken, so mm -hmm. we encourage people to take full advantage of everything that's there, from the the socialization to the picture, to the silent auction, to the mm -hmm. beautiful hors d'oeuvres and the floral arrangements that'll be out there. Come and enjoy. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you all for joining us today. Thank My you. pleasure. Thank, thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you very much. So we'll be back next month with an all-new edition of TSB Means Business.